Okay, so next investigation then, you're going to need your torch and the Fresnel lens. There's more information about the Fresnel lens in your booklet. So the point of this, a Fresnel lens is used inside a lighthouse because in a lighthouse, it's not the light that spins, it's the lenses that spin around the light. So Fresnel invented this lens to help focus light because if I shine this torch on a piece of paper, you can see it's not very bright and the light's quite hazy. So this lens, if you put it in front of the torch, and if you get it at the proper distance, should. There we go. So I had to problem solve quite a bit there and work out what's the perfect distance, but you can see there how focused and clear the light is. And this is the type of lenses that they use in lighthouses, the Fresnel lens. So this is a great task to do with your children, get them first see how they can work out and problem solve how best to focus the light, okay? So for this task then, we're going to use two different circuits. We're going to do two simple circuits. Our first, first simple circuit is using a light bulb and we're going to make a light bulb spin as so it was in a lighthouse. Now we know the light in a lighthouse doesn't spin, but this is a great task that the children can make a spinning light to then go inside their lighthouses that they built. So we're going to be needing our first circuit, which is a light, and make sure your light works. And then our second simple circuit, we're going to use the motor with the yellow gearbox. So make sure you've got the yellow um, spinny plate on top of your gearbox. And to attach the, the wires to the gearbox, you use the two metal clips here. And they're quite delicate, these clips. You've really got to be quite careful with them. Put one clip on one side and then another clip on the other side. And if I place this down and press go, you can see the motor spinning. So we're wanting to give this illusion of the light spinning like this in our lighthouse. So you need your first circuit, your simple circuit with your motor and the gearbox. And then what we're going to do is put our battery pack with our bulb on top of the spinny plate, I call it. And then we're gonna elastic band it on so it spins round, okay? So it's too footy having more wires and crocodile clips. So for this bit, you're gonna use your screwdriver, which is in your pack, and you're just gonna screw up the screws a wee bit here. Okay, see how they're risen up? And then you're gonna take one part of this and put the wee metal bit in, and you're gonna screw it back down. Oh, and this will secure it in without the use of crocodile clips and extra wires. There's one, and then this on this side. And again, this can be quite footy, but great for children's fine motor skills. Okay, there we go. The wires are screwed in underneath the screws and the light is on. So what we're going to do now is use a little bit of Play-Doh from our pack. <clears throat> and we're gonna put a little bit of Play-Doh on the disc. And then again, quite a footy bit trying to get our light bulb. So I think the best way is putting the wires like this and the light bulb round like this, and then using an elastic band to secure it on, like this. And then, this is where the creativity comes in, it's trying to get this to sit on like this. And then if you can imagine the children putting this inside their lighthouse models, and then when we switch it on, we can see the light spins. Now, an extension to this would be to try and put your lens here, but this is not the right distance. So if you turned off all the lights and we held our lens here, maybe, I don't know if it flashes on the paper, does it? Mm -hmm. You can get the idea. And this is another great problem solving task where the children can work out the correct distance the lens needs to be away from the light to project that clear focused image on the black paper. Um, and what we've done for that is used a ruler, which is quite footy, but you could get a ruler stuck on here once you work out the correct distance. And the correct distance is about 12 centimetres, 10 centimetres. And then you could stick, once you've measured 12, work out some fun ways, even using lollipop sticks for sticking your lens on there. Okay? And that's just given them an idea of the light spinning inside the lighthouse using the Fresnel lens.